Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are currently following Will Health Tarkin around because I have a feeling some bad things are about to happen. The whole of last time we realised that we had a big, big, big issue. And that big issue was... Ah, there it was. The fact that... Both our farm and our power were not working in synchronization with each other, so we ended up having a few people die. In fact, we've also just lost Piet. Um, no, has he been moved? Okay, well, that, that's fine. Uh, Piet, Tarkin, and of course, our chef, Dexter Jester. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty, pretty not useful, actually. That is pretty not useful. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a look at our, um, our priorities here. We're going to go around and see what needs a fixing. For starters, these are not actually getting fixed up in time. And I'm not sure what's um, making them lag behind like this. Uh, at the moment, it's all A-OK -okay there, thinking about it, looking at it. The actual problem here is this wire has not been made, and it's on an 8. That, that, you would have expected it got done. Chef 2, you're standing around, you're being idle. Now, whilst I want you to do cooking and harvesting, I think I would also like you to go around and do a few builds. And Now, I know this is probably going to sidetrack you from what you actually need to be doing, but this will be able to keep us uh, tip-top with what we're doing here. I didn't really expect you to come down and start doing work down here. Oh, that's okay. You came to get the... Oh, not more starvation. Anything but more starvation. You, ca you came to get the, the metals. That's the important thing. And talking of, I am going to push that in and out like that. Now, what can we do about changing a few priorities here? Now, I want to go around and have a look. I've been recommended to turn all of these down on a 7. The, there are some minor issues with that. In particular, the minor issues are revolve around having a build... Uh, priorities up at the same time as having general priorities because the build priorities just seem to take priority over the top of everything but I don't want any of these to drop down below uh, an 8 so let, let's try this, we'll drop these onto an 8 we'll also drop these onto an 8 and we'll see what happens, uh, what else do we have an 8 there uh, those I would like to say 9, the same with these but I think everything else that's on 9 can just about be dropped down for the moment. That, that, that. We'll just see if we can work our way through the vast majority of issues here. Like this, this this could really do with being turned down. At some point, someone's going to jump in there thinking that they're doing the right thing. And they probably won't be, let, let's be honest here. The chef is still taking care of food, though having a dead body right there, not really helping out. Perhaps we can make a small morning area over here. Let's just put down another tasteful monument like that. These guys coming along and doing this. I've got a little bit of an issue with what's going on here. If we have a look, this is like an isolated... Uh, isolated power system here. We've also got two over here, but I'm not so worried about that. I say that, and this one's already out of power, but we'll, we'll come along and, and change that in a moment. But this one I am a little bit worried about. So I want to I wanna go through and make a few changes. We're going to start by doing uh, that, uh, coming in with the power wire 9 and going up there like that. That should make this a nice more tidy experience. And then down here I also want to pull one up through there and join it up to this system like that because I think we can take a few more power transformers off of here. In fact I think we can take anything up to 20 power transformers off of it. So I think that would be a good idea to enact at some point. Um, the logic behind that and I will explain that in a second if I just make sure all of these are coming through uh, with the right jobs. I know I was just saying about how not to do a 9, but as I've explained a fair few times in the past, build orders, I quite like putting on a 9 because that means they get prioritised and then forgotten about afterwards because they're build orders and they get dealt with. But yeah, the, the logic here is if we have a look on the heavy watt wire, you can see that its maximum current is 20 watts. And then if we have a look at this non-heavy watt wire, you can see its maximum draw... Ooh, its maximum draw is high. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, but it should have been a thousand, um, well, exactly 1,000. So we can take 20 lines off of that. Now, what are we going to do about the fact that this is so overpowered? What, what can we do about that? I'm not sure if there is actually a thing to be done here. Not at the moment, anyway. If it, if it starts blowing up, I think we'll be all right. But it's the fact that it's like both of these massage tables and the electric grill and the microbe musher. They're all adding together to make quite a bit of draw, let alone this rock granulator as well. Maybe we'll get this rock granulator onto a separate separate circuit. That, that could possibly be a thing at some point. I love the fact that this is all working down now. What's going on? Carbon scale. Oh, no power. That That's fine. No power is a thing. 
Next problem that we've got, over here you can see the liquid vent, it's not outputting. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. But a problem that is solved relatively easy just by changing this liquid pipe. So I'm going to change that there. Hopefully the deconstruct can get done pretty quick. Oh man, it's so quick. You see what I'm saying about the priorities. There are a few things that are like super high priority. Destruction of uh, old buildings is definitely the highest priority. Is that the way around I want it? That is the way around that I would like it. Let's, uh, let's get this built and then everyone can be happy. Are we building up edible stocks again? We are. That's, that's good. I mean, it is kind of necessary and it was... A little bit unfortunate that it wasn't happening beforehand. We're still waiting for new duplicates into the printing pod. And I think we might just resurrect Tarkin here. We've got a, we've got a list of people that we can bring back. But uh, I think Tarkin's kind of essential to the whole ethos of what we've got going down here. Uh, I really would like people to carry on doing this. You see what I'm saying about how different things have different priorities. It's a, it's a bit weird. These were all up on a 9, yet this still has a higher pri- Oh, you're a, you should have been on an 8. There we go. Let's do that. Okay. Um, but still, I reckon that he's not going to go around and do that job tops. Okay, I do stand here and eat my words, people. He went and immediately got a piece of iron ore to go and do something else. So may maybe, maybe I am mistaken here. I know that there used to be a problem. There definitely used to be a problem. Builds were just taking over. Yeah, well, I suppose he is doing builds, so it does still hold up with what I was saying. So, I, I don't know. We'll have to check that out. Okay, next bit of problem that I am a feeling here is the fact that these are not filling up. Well, it is filling up. It's filling up with heat. Now, this hole in the side here, definitely a factor to be considered here. But I've got a feeling we've just not got enough weeds warts. That, that's my big problem is we've not got enough weeds warts. Now, thankfully, we've got this little carbon scrubber system here. Carbon scrubber. We've got ourselves a little ore scrubber system here that should be able to keep us clean. So I'm going to do that and see how long it takes for someone to come along and dig all that out um okay well it looks like we've got another night to wait ah another thing i want to do whilst i think about it so if we have a look in here we're having a little bit of an oxygen issue inside the farm uh that there are various reasons for this but mainly duplicates keep walking through and breathing all the oxygen so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave the door open for now until this gas pump and stuff is completely working and everything kind of just ticks over the way we want we really need to do something with uh, old decks there uh let's get another tasteful monument on to go over here i think that'd be a good idea we uh we built this thing down here yet yeah, it would be pretty good if we could instead they're just walking around and doing other things okay fair enough fair enough uh what have we got going down so that was a priority nine i suppose that's the thing that i wanted working here i would also like to give it another priority nine if at all possible just to make sure dex gets picked up and moved there as fast as possible you really shouldn't be doing that now you should go along over there let's put these down oh, you see like how this has got a power of a nine scargill can you can you just like not build is that something that i've done ah look what do you do you just do power okay well, i mean that is pretty cool but could you do deliveries as well and that should probably help out um, that, that will help out a lot, actually. I've also noticed that we've got this little issue on the go here. Uh, so let's go base ladder. Let's just drop these down to here. And at some point, this will become a throughway. way Actually, I don't think I want a throughway way there. No, I'll be quite happy with this throughway way up the top here. As long as someone starts building this next bit. Uh, where, where are we going? Over here, Tasteful Mem Memorial. Let's put this up on a nine, and hopefully someone's going to come along immediately and move decks. Yeah, that, that's what we want. Okay, that's going well. We've got a little bit of stress in the area, but I think that should uh, help out moving all our dead bodies around. People still shifting things for the mill lice, when I really would like this power transformer dealt with. Really, really would. Now, nothing else is up on a priority nine, is it? No, we've got an eight here. Got a, we got a nine up there. I think I can live with that, but I'll turn that back down for now. Uh, any more nines that we don't actually need on the go here? Things like doorways in particular I'm watching out for. I'm quite happy with them doing all of that round there. I would like to put this lot on a seven, because whilst it's not super, super important, like duplicates are going to die if I don't do it important um, I would like just a little bit more of oxygen flow coming from over this way though the whole thing seems to be doing a-okay at the moment this this oxygen mess down here is quite funny make the buildings guys make the buildings I really want to uh, get this last little power bit done so that we can share uh, 
sorry, free up Scargill there for doing other jobs. Because uh, just going around and just doing power, not really the great. Him going around to do the delivery, that, that is almost exactly what we want. Ah, cool, here we go. Oh, man, guys, it's not sleeping time. It's not, it's building time. Build, building time, guys. Buildings. Okay, so power is suddenly flowing. There does appear to be a distinct lack of power going on down here. Is this because I've changed these down too much? It, uh, it is. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. What else are you going around doing? Have we got a few... Uh, I suppose all of these are now going to be priority pickups, aren't they? I suppose that's okay. We can take a new person on. That's good, though. Who do we want? We've got Twinkle Toast Biohazard, Jam Resistant Noodle Arms, Iron Gut Noodle Arms... Not really feeling any of those, if I'm to be honest with you. I think we might go for old Iron Gut over here with high creative. Or, uh, but, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Twinkle Toes, Biohazardous, Immune Systems, Mine. I suppose we're all right with that, actually. Let's go with this one. This this is going to be, um... Actually, we're going to have old Tian back. Um, is, did it not... Ah, oh, problems as always. Okay, after fighting with quick select keys, there we go. We are going to bring back T and Jaja Roots. Uh, he can go around and do some work as long as he has not got himself settled down up here. Like Chef, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be up here, man. You, you are down here with this lot. If you could, thanks. Cool. You're, you're not, you're not like top tier officer. Get out of here. Get out of here. Also, that puts your bed closer to where you're working, so that that'll be good. That'll be really good. Hmm, Chef 2 I've only told to deliver, yet still he's out doing some building. That's a, that's an interesting thing. Let's have a look here. Oh, no, no, I told him to build, not deliver. Okay, that's, that, I suppose, is slightly better. I still would like him going around and doing as much food as possible. There is a a food shortage, a power shortage. That's, that's a problem there, and that problem is caused by the fact that... They prioritise building over power. Okay, that that's a weird thing. We'll, we'll just let that we'll just let that play through. See what's going down here. We've got a little bit of coal on the go from that. That's that's cool. Okay, so why aren't these guys digging sideways? That's the big issue. They've got a lot of jobs to get going through. I think that's the problem here. Uh, finally, this insulated box is a prop is a proper thing. That that's nice. So we're having a little bit of trouble cooling this all down because there's almost constant flow coming through here of like 50 degree water, as you can see. The water, in fact, I do stand corrected, has 61 degrees in it. That's a lot of energy to get water up to that sort of temperature. And unfortunately, this wheeze wart, whilst doing its best, as you can see, it goes down, then it comes back up, and then it goes down again. Uh, it's really not working out as hard as I would like it to. I mean, just, just give it a little bit more, guy. Give it a little bit more. So with that in mind, as soon as we get more and more people, I think we just need to start pushing on sideways and up, of course, to try and find ourselves a brand new cold biome. Of course, night time's really not helping. Just had people starving. How can food be decaying? This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting how it turns out like that. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I'm realising I have a few issues here. Yeah, fair enough, we're going to come through and people are going to clean out the ore with the ore scrubber. But then they also have the problem that they themselves are going to be dirty. So let's try and pop a sink in here. This is going to take a bit of a water issue. Am I that bothered by it? Why is this not empty? Ah, ah, I've done a problem. I've, well, I've not done a problem. I've just forgotten to do a thing. Let's come into our plumbing. Let's get a liquid pipe here. I want to... Come down like this and then also down like this because I'd like to put a liquid bridge in over here. I think that's a good idea. In and out. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Let's have a look at the priorities here. Let's uh, really pump them overboard. Let's also uh, come in with the sevens, make sure they work out A-OK. -okay. So now finally when these get put into place, we should have a system. No, no, just a, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Uh, and then if we have a look here, that should now make all that liquid start to flow down this way. And we'll have a new place to store a whole bunch of polluted water. This is always going to be able to keep topped up if a need be. Still not reaching quite the... the uh, temperatures I was hoping for. I don't even know what temperature it is we need to get it right up to to be able to make the germs start dying. But like with that said, it doesn't appear to actually be sending the temperatures anywhere. We're going to 28, which means this is going to be a couple of degrees lag.
lagging behind. I'd like to get it up to about 40, 50, maybe even 60 or 70 if need be to kill all those germs in there. Because obviously, this is now a sealed unit. Things are not coming out of at least this unit down here. And this one up here is going to start getting hot again when we turn this one down. But I want to, as I say, want to kill all of the germs in there. These are doing a weird thing. What's going on? Why aren't you harvestable there are some of them are okay that that that's cool things are still definitely turning over still waiting for a new uh, duplicates to arrive in i'm afraid today's episode looks like it's gonna mainly be uh just trying to cat trying to trying to claw our way back after the savages that happened last episode Oh, also, look, there's this over here. I think we should try and make our way across. I think we should. I think we should. This this definitely needs to get fixed first. But with that in mind, let's uh, let's put a G7 in. See what happens when they start digging their way in. Perhaps we could have a storage compactor like here or here that we keep all our slime in. That might be an idea, actually. Let's let's do that. Let's get down to the storage compactor. We're going to keep it out here. I feel like there's a better way of doing this. I feel like there's a much better way of doing this. Perhaps what we can do is make a small slime storage room there. Let, let's let's do it like this instead. I'm gonna put a little bit of a, a small box up. Not nothing too big to worry about. Pneumatic door, then a storage compactor all the way over here. Followed by inside here, we've got the carbon deoxidizer. I don't know why I keep saying carbon. It's the uh, the oxygen deoxidizer, the de the odorizer. Sorry, that's the one, uh, and that should make us a nice little nice little area. Let's put those P eights, and they should get a priority fixing. People should just wander their way straight down here to get this done. Yeah, everybody gonna do it. Everybody gonna get involved. That that would be great. Everybody who's available to build come and get involved if we could please that'd be great uh let's have a look at the uh, good, good old jarjarud down here he can't do his art can anybody do an art no one can do an art at the moment we're gonna have to try and get a much higher creative in maybe that's what we should have taken last time maybe we're just talking about how we need a, a new creative, but at the same time, bottomless stomach. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, cannot dig. I mean, that's quite an important job. I don't know whether we want you to be in our team if you cannot dig. Let's have a look. We've got a plus two. I think we're going to go for our interior direct decorator here. A little bit of a bottomless stomach. Ah, that's, that's an extra 500. No, we're going to go for this guy. This or this this person over here. And this is going to be Will Huff Tarkin's replacement. Yeah. Oh, no, no typing. Oh wow, that took a few times to get that typed out, but there we go. We'll have Tarkin. Welcome back. You are going to be sleeping. Oh good, you've already changed. To, no, no, you haven't. Oh, gosh, no, get out of there. Well, that's Will have Tarkin's place. Uh, Jar Jar Jarut, you live down here, you lowly, lowly commanding officer. I can't remember who, who you were. I believe you were the guy... Uh, not impressed with sorcerer's ways, maybe, or the guy who got choke holded. I, I can't remember. I can't remember. But in the uh, in the interim, we've managed to get ourselves a new wash basin up here. This is going to go up on the nine to make sure we can get some more water flowing. There should be some water flow from over here if we're if we're lucky, if we're good, if we have everything working along as we would like it to. Well, you're really coming back up here to uh, to do this again. I don't think I want you doing that job, Chef. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, go, go away. Leave that alone. Um, I, I, I just wanted you to come in down here. How do we stop Chef coming in here? We do it like this. We go, Chef, you do not have permission to walk in here. Okay, as simple as that. That should have made it so we can go back on to the power. And you should now start to charge up these coal generators if need be. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, okay, what's going on over here? We're getting a few more digs done, but nothing really too serious. Uh, I'm going to go with a G8, actually. That, that seems like a much stronger priority to come across there. This... Uh, Polluted water here. A little bit worries me, actually. A little bit worries me. Can we dig out a little bit more here? Just to have somewhere to put a whole bunch of stuff. Um, something like that. But obviously, by a whole bunch of stuff, I do, of course, mean the polluted water that we're about to let free. Uh, okay, before we do anything like that, I want to get organics. I want to put slime in here. Uh, top priority jobs. Top priority jobs. At some point, we have to uh, get ourselves a... What are they called? They're down here somewhere. This thing, a puffed. We're going to have to try and get our puffed up there. I don't know how that's actually going to work out for us. 
Um, I, I'm hoping it's going to work out well, but you never know. You do indeed never know. Okay, people are picking up the slime. That's pretty cool. Hopefully, they're just going to carry on with that. Uh, the clay, not my biggest problem, it has to be said. Is anyone going to come up here and start doing some work up here? That would be pretty good, but of course, I understand if you guys need to sleep. Oh, things are starting to uh, to form up around here. That means not very long until we've got a complete sealed-in system over here as well. It's been uh, quite nicely just taking all the heat out of my system and pumping it up into this water. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I think next time what I need to do is start making a heat extraction unit up here. Maybe over here have this producing a whole load of oxygen. Maybe, maybe all the way down here. And then pump the cold oxygen out and then have warm oxygen being pumped in. Yeah, that might be a plan. We'll have to put a couple of doors up to seal it all in, but we'll, we'll think long and hard on that next time because, of course, we need to try and extract the water out of there and have good times. Oh, yeah, here, okay, here we go. The water is flowing. I don't know if that's going to be good enough to get out of our way in the way that I wanted it to. Uh, let's do that and see if people can come along and do, do that dig for me. Uh, I also would like that ladder done, if at all possible, please. That would be nice. Putting a small ladder walkway in so people don't have to be walking through the uh, the mucky water all the time. Looks like they're choosing to do so to go through there, but I suppose we'll live with that somehow. Uh, these guys are going to come along and do the business on this side. I wonder who's going to be able to open this up. I would like to submit a bioscan from someone. I don't know who's going to have the uh, prestigious honour of doing so. I, I like the fact that this is now just like a flooded walkway to get over all this stuff. Let's, uh, let's actually G8... Let's, uh, let's make it a bit more thematic here. Let's break that open and we'll have literally a little flooded walkway to go across. Maybe there's a way of... Mm, yeah, I was going to say making this feel a little bit a little bit deeper, but without actually digging it out, I suppose, no, there's there's not really. Also, this swamp biome... Swamp biome? Am I calling it a swamp biome? I think I'm calling it a swamp biome. This swamp biome's not very deep, is it? Oh, Ooh, yeah. We got, we got some more cold over here, so we can go get ourselves another wheeze wart. That is actually what I'm out here looking for, is more wheeze warts to put in our system over here, which is not being built. Okay, a couple of things I want to do here. You can see all my hydrogen is still being pumped out over this way. Now, I'm kind of all right with that, but I think I would also like some of it being sent in to the generator over here so we got that one kicking off uh, gas pipe nine cool now the next thing I want to do is try and free up some of these gases so I think the way I'm gonna do it I don't want it coming into the base I almost went yeah we'll put it into the base that's not what we're gonna do oh look we got gold amalgam that's nice do I, I, I don't I don't really care though I don't really care what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, turn these both into airflow tiles actually to be honest we probably only need to turn this one into an airflow tile but right now we'll turn them both and see what happens hopefully someone's gonna come along and do the business for me here. I don't know who's going to do it. Tarkin? Tarkin would be a good good shout there. No, just dropping off polluted water. Not not really what we're after. If we could just get these last two done, then we can start thinking about sealing this up in a second and maybe even getting rid of this bottle emptier. I'd like to see how high uh, pressure and stuff we can get this open to, this close to, sorry. Uh, so if this flows through, does this allow all the water to jump back up? This is what I want to know. Like, how... How pressurized is this? We're at half a kilo so far. Yeah, okay, let's stop. That one doesn't need to be done. Uh, and we can turn that one back into an insulated tile now. I like the idea of this. Granite, of course. Let's do this. Come on, uh, Jar Jar Jar. It's not actually Jar Jar, but it's so close that I'm just going to call him Jar Jar from now on, I think. So, so close. Okay, with that turning on, yeah, there we go. The hydrogen is working how we want, and it's splitting off into two separate directions. Eventually, I will just rip this down when this becomes pressurized enough. Um, this will also become quite pressurized, and I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that. I think we can let that work through in that manner. We're out of power up here. Uh, that's because I haven't connected it, because I don't want to pull anything out yet. Uh, chances are we're actually going to end up breaking this liquid pump through overheating. To, speaking of overheating, this still isn't doing its job. Why not? Oxygen's nice and chill, but the liquid pipe is not. It's at 24 when we need it at 23. Mm, we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, speaking of working on it, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is replace these airflow tiles here. Uh, we'll do them in 
groups of two, uh, whatever, we'll, we'll do it all the way across, just to see if the cold flows a little bit better. I know we're getting a little bit of a, a gas trap at the bottom here. Yeah, as you can see, this is all producing oxygen here, but it's not flowing upwards. No, no, no. What's going on here? Oh, it's no oxygen there. That's why. No. Okay, sample has been given over here, and we've got lockers. Can we... Ah, oh, we can inspect and rummage. Now, uh, recovers files from this structure, scours for use of material. Let's do that. To employees, this facility is pleased to announce that starting this week, all Fridays will now be casual Fridays. Please enjoy the clinically proven uh, uh, de-stressing benefits of casual tie by wearing your favourite shirt to the lab. Um, any personnel found on facilities uh, without regulation, full body protection will be put on immediate notice. Okay, cool. Uh, was was that actually what we wanted, or we didn't, do we need to rummage? Like, do we get the same from this side? Yeah, okay, we get the same from that. So let's let's put a rummage up. Let's see let's see what happens when we rummage. I, I didn't even know this was the thing. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I notice there's no abyssalite splitting these two up here. That's that's interesting. Look, it comes down here and then gets cut in half by these guys. Ooh, a neural vacuolator. We will be back to do that. Oh, we had a rummage. What have we got? We got a snazzy suit. Okay, let's uh let's rummage all of these. Let's do that. And then let's also, whilst we're here, I want to dig further out this way, if at all possible. It would be really good. It would be really good just to find ourselves another Wheeze War or something like that, if we could, please. be good. What, what we got coming on, along here? Tar coming to do some work. Um, yeah, I suppose that's pretty good. Are you also going to rummage that one? Need to try and figure out... A way of them not doing that. Uh, let's put that on a 9 so we can get the thimble read back. In fact, let's put everything down here on 9 because it's all ephemeral stuff that will disappear. So that, that that's fine. This lot is all 8. So that's fine. Okay, cool. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Let's go all the way across. Someone's decided that the uh, thimble read is the higher priority. Fair enough, I suppose. Fair enough. If we now ladder 9. Bam. Cool. Cool. So... I just heard a noise. Let's go and see what that noise was. Down here, indeed. I'm gonna choose a new oh, duplicate. I think we need a new. Oh look, hmm. We could almost no, no, no. We're not. Uh, twinkle toes, but non-constructive. Quick learner, gastrophobic. That th this one's probably our winner here. This one is probably our winner. And today we are gonna bring back. Well, I say bring back. We're gonna introduce Conan Motti. Yes, indeed. Oh no, we, we can't do that. Please, thanks. Another random Imperial officer. Um, I did remember where he was from a little while ago, but I wrote that name down and now I can't remember. Uh, so let's go. There we go. Motti. There we go. Awesome. Welcome to the crew. Disinfection overlay or once again the thing trying to steal my uh, my controls away from me. It's always the same. Always the same. So I'm building this one. Yes, they are. All right, cool. And then that should just dig all the way across. Now I feel like I want to dig all these out as well. Mm. All right, maybe, maybe at some point we will. Maybe at some point we will. Gonna carry on digging, guys. Gonna carry on digging. It's very important that we go this way. Very important that we go this way. I want to find a weeds warp by the end of the episode so we can pop it up here and be like, hey, I fixed it. I don't know whether two, two Weezwarts will fix it or not, but I am noticing that so far we've seen quite a lot of this terrain and still cannot see the Weezwart. Look, is this Neutronium over here? No, no, no. Thankfully, we're doing all right. Okay, work is getting done. It's really getting done. We've got the clay being dug out. That's cool. Can we see anything else? No, we see more slime biome. That's no good. I don't want more slime biome. Uh, also, not really not seeing any, any Weezwart. That's... Oh, that's saddening. Actually saddening. Let's go uh, priority nine on a ladder going all the way up here. I'd like to see all the way up to the top. I, I don't know if we're going to be actually able to see anything. Uh, no, I actually want to cancel there. Uh, G8 to go up the side, and that should enable people to be able to dig up a lot easier. Uh, I always find trying to go up just by a single ladder, you know, uh, there's a serious bottleneck in the job job assignments but like this it should all be a okay uh, people can kind of get at edges and get around okay we're working our way up here and I've got to be honest it's a little disappointing all I can see is a little bit of sleep wheat I'm not seeing any new wheeze warts up here and that that fills me with pain really fills me with pain I'm a, I'm a little bit disappointed in that I, I would really have liked this to have been 
quite the quite the discovery up here. Yeah, sleep wheat there. E even nothing really to be found there. I'm going to carry on digging, and I'll bring you back if we've got a little bit more. So we're getting close to the top of our little ladder way here, and I've got to say, it's big disappointment. I am not seeing any weasel anywhere. In fact, here is the top. You've got the abyss light there, abyss light over that side. I think we have totally maxed out here. But whilst we're at it, let's have a look and see if we can't put someone in this neural vacuolator here. If I just go ladder quickly, uh, number eight. Let, let's just go up here. That should that should allow people to do the job that needs doing, hopefully. Uh, and I will have a look. Look around, see what's going on. Uh, we, what we should have done is made it out of like obsidian or igneous rock or something like that. Sandstone, it's quite a quite a way back to go and grab it to be able to come up here and do stuff. And of course, nighttime happens. Okay, I changed out the material for igneous rock, and that should mean that everyone can just come along and throw this up in in lickety split next to no time. Is that just one more? Just just one more to be done, guys. That's that's a thing that needs doing. Hi, thank you. That would be pretty good. Who are we going to assign to the neural vacuolator? Well, of course it's going to be Krennic because he's the only person that's survived from the original three. So that that's definitely going to be a thing there. This this no doubt marks him as the next person for death. But we'll uh, we'll see what's going on there. Ah, that's going to pay. Complete the, the process. What do we get? Uh, Regen. All right, nice. Regen. I like that. Uh, health, 20 per cycle. That is awesome. Never really have to worry about him getting in a scrap ever again. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to try our best to find another Weasel. Obviously, there wasn't one over here. Uh, well, there was one over here, and there's not another one over here. So we're going to have to search along and hard for trying to find the next one. I will also be bringing back a, a new duplicate. Hopefully, someone that can make us some nice decor. But I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye!